Hey there, welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework's Video Solutions. The problem that comes in today is a word problem involving exponential growth. So, let's get started. Alright, so as we can see, it says Kelly bought a painting six years ago for $540. Each year T since the purchase, the value V of the painting has increased by 8%. How much is the painting worth now? Okay, so we know that this is an exponential growth. How come? Because it's growing by a constant percentage rate each year. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our formula. Okay, so exponential growth. Our exponential growth formula, now this is actually the same formula for decay. If B is greater than 1, then it is growth. If B is less than 1, it is decay. So uh, Y is going to be our ending value, okay, just like anything else, our ending value. A is going to be the starting value, so what your start value is, your initial value, however your textbook words that. B is going to be the growth rate. Sometimes they call it the growth factor. And X is time in years, okay? So, and for this problem, they've actually given us specific variables. So we're going to go ahead and say, uh, let's change it to the variables that they suggested. They said the value V, so we're gonna use that. And they said time in years, T. So we're going to go ahead and use that. All right, so let's identify everything that we have here. When you read these problems, it's very important to go ahead and identify all the values they give you. So if she bought the painting six years ago and she wants to know the value now, that makes six the time T. If she bought it for $540, that's not what it's worth now. Let's hope it's not what, it, what it's worth now. That's the starting value. So that's going to be A. Okay. What other values do we have here? We have 8%. That's what it's increasing by each year. So 8% is going to be our growth factor. It's going to be our rate. Now, the next thing we do is put this all into the equation, and then the calculator does the rest of the work. Nice thing about exponential growth problems, you do need a calculator. You're raising decimals to an exponent, always going to need a calculator there. Okay, so the ending value is what we're solving for. We don't know what that is. Starting value, $540, the amount she paid for the painting. The growth factor. Now, we can't put... 0.08. First of all, that would be less than 1. That would decay by 8%. We need to put 1 plus the growth factor. 1 because that includes the value of 540 in it. So 1.08. Very similar to when we're doing compound interest problems. All right. And we raise that to the T power. And she bought this six years ago. So we want to value, we want to, well, I want to see a 6. We want to evaluate this for the T of 6. All right, so let's let the calculator do the work. We're going to get 1.08 raised to the sixth power. Remember, this is not going to be raised to an exponent. Exponents only affect what's beneath them, unless there is a bracket around the whole thing. So 1.08 to the sixth power, we have to do exponents first. So we get 540 times 1. Point. Now, you don't normally write all of this out, but you get 5868. 7, 4, 3, we'll stop there. When you get this in your calculator, you're going to get 1.08 to the 6th power. You're just going to go, go ahead and hit your multiplication button, 540, and let it do the multiplication for you. And you're going to see that this is 856.9121. Since we're talking about money, I'm going to round to the hundredths, and the 2 makes the 1 stay the same. So approximately the value is going to be 800. $56.91 after six years if it truly grows at an interest at an exponential rate of 8%. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section. I hope this video helped. I know word problems can be tricky. I know exponential functions can be tricky. These will get easier. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel so that I can solve your homework problem next.